this is a little bit like Christmas morning for us. With a little bit less snow and quite a bit more heat and cicadas. To help with that heat, we are excited to be installing Air Gear Sunshade today. So that makes it a little bit like Christmas morning, except as Sam said, with a little bit less snow, a lot more heat, a little bit less cookies, but we will definitely be enjoying a cold one at the end of this. It is currently 98 degrees in South Carolina. It's only 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we need to make this space a lot more usable, a lot more comfortable, and that's what we're gonna do today. Now this is a very simple project. All you really need is a drill, a 964 drill bit, a Sharpie marker, some sort of step stool or ladder, your sunshade, and the rivet tool. And we highly recommend, if you have not gotten the rivet tool from Air Gear, definitely check yours out because we love it. To get started, put the Airstream awning completely out and lay your sunshade on the ground approximately where you want it to go. We have the 15 foot shade and we are going to install our sunshade pretty much in the center because we have a weird thing with symmetry, but if you prefer, you can leave room by the door and shift everything towards the front of the trailer. Once you have an idea of where you want the sunshade, it's time to get drilling. Locate the center snap of the sunshade and hold it up against the awning tube, finding where you want that center snap to go. Mark the spot with your marker and then grab your drill. A pro tip here, to avoid drilling into any of the awning bar mechanisms, insert your drill bit fully into the drill before starting. The part of the awning you're drilling through isn't very thick. Drill the hole and then use the rivet tool to install the snap base. Once the snap base is installed, go ahead and hang the sunshade from the center snap, working your way out to each side. Work your way down both ends, using the sunshade to help plan where your next snap needs to be installed. Mark that spot with your marker, drill, and install your snap using the rivet tool. This process will be repeated for each snap. Once you have all your snaps installed, you can go ahead and hang that sunshade up. To create a nice patio space, fill the provided bags with rocks, heavy objects, or sand, and connect them to the sunshade. Pull them out about 15 degrees and voila! Check out our awesome, spacious patio now. The weighted bags are also for use in breezy conditions, so your sunshade is not left flapping in the breeze. And when we use the Air Gear sunshade when we're out camping, removing it for departure is a snap. Just snap it off using this motion, fold it up, and store it in this nifty matching bag, which fits great into our exterior compartment. Another quick pro tip, when removing the sunshade, don't attempt to pull from the top of the sunshade, as these snaps are meant to keep the sunshade up. Instead, grab from the bottom underneath the snap and pull up to remove the sunshade. And that's it, it took us less than 30 minutes to install and now we have a nice shady patio we can put our feet up and enjoy that cold end like previously mentioned. So here is the cooler summer days and a patio space that your friends and family can enjoy. Happy trails. Happy trails.